I'm Khadija Nicole and welcome back to my channel. So the word on the street was that wet line had a new gel so you know your girl had to go pick it up and yeah i'm about to do a wash and go with it i'm gonna be using some of the african pride curling cream to do my wash and go today and pair it with the new gel but of course i do want to kind of compare it to the old gel um just to kind of see a little bit of the differences my hair has already been washed and i'm gonna end up having to put some more water back in it so the wash and go can be real nice and good. So first things first, as you guys can see, this one does come with a blue navy type of lid now. The other one is usually like a green top, but this one is blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I feel like it smells a little bit different than the other one. Let's see. I feel like it does smell just a little bit different. Um, now as far as the texture, I feel like it still feels heavy, but I don't know if it's as heavy as the old one. But you know, the main thing here that we're trying to see is, you know, the look, the final result, how it's gonna make my curls pop, and if it still holds up to its original, you know, quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and start re-wetting my hair. So go ahead and, dang, can you open it? Ugh. To get um, a good glob to start with, and then I will, uh, you know, add more as I need it. I need to separate this a little bit so I can work it in really good. So yeah, applying the gel all over that one big section at once was a mistake. You really gotta apply this, you know, into smaller sections. So yeah, I ain't gonna put it in the large sections again because that made it harder to smooth. And when you do it in a section about this big, it worked so much easier. And the water just helps with the whole process. It makes everything just, you know, glide. Everything's nice and detangled. Go ahead and take a little and start at the root and just smooth and break. And I like to smooth with my hands like this. Well, it's kind of like in this motion. So I smooth it down and then with this hand, I rake it through. And I just apply more as I need it down the hair. You see, now it just went on super easy. Cause that first back section I just did, y'all, I had done got my hair all tangled. So definitely apply the gel in sections. I forgot how stiff a uh, wet line can be when you're applying it. So it's always best to apply it in a smaller section.
So I'm done applying my product and gel and my curls are looking amazing, y'all. Amazing, they look so good. So now I'm about to go ahead and let it air dry and I might let it air dry for a little bit and then blow dry it. But yeah, I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit and then I'll be back to show y'all my results with the new wet line. We're gonna see if we get the same results. I feel like I am, like it looks, it's already looking good right now, so I expect the best. So before I get into this gel, because I am so excited to talk about it, I'm going to go ahead and fluff my hair out completely. It is completely dry now. I ended up letting it air dry, but I did have to go in with the blow dryer and finish drying because you know there's always those weird little spots that still want to be damp. So I had to go in and try to completely dry those up. I think I got it. But yeah, I'm about to completely fluff my hair out, got my pick, and I'm gonna use some oil while I'm doing that. So let me do that real quick. So let me explain to you why this is the best gel hands down. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you know that I compared the two or you know did a verse video comparing Wetline and the Eco Styler Cannabis Sativa Gel. And I came to the conclusion in the end of the video to me that the Eco Cannabis Sativa was still better than the Wetline. But today, Today, Wetline has completely changed that. I feel like one of the main reasons a lot of people like the original Wetline with the green top is because it gives you that good length as well as definition. You're able to make your wash and go styles last like a good seven days and probably even longer and it still look good. You also still get the volume. Like I said, you get definition, you get length. You know what I'm saying? You got it all. But one thing about the wet line that I didn't like and that I noticed with the original one is the fact that when you apply the gel, it gives it that crunchiness in the beginning. And it kind of lasts that first good day, your hair is like crunchy. But then when it came to the Eco Styler gel, that was one thing I liked it over the wet line is it didn't give that crunch to the hair. It just came out nice and fluffy. But one thing also with that that I didn't really like was the fact that you still got a lot of shrinkage. On the first day, you did get like hella volume. Um, so yeah, it kind of just depends on the person, I would say. But I don't know, y'all. Like this gel, this gel is really it. That comes to my, you know, my thoughts today. Why I love this gel like completely. And that is because this gel doesn't have that crunch. I just did my hair with this gel, y'all, and I did not have to crunch, scrunch out no crunch. And it's giving like that eco styler fluff on the first day. But I also have length, which is something that eco doesn't really, you know, do. Wet line give you length and still some volume because you can, you know, pick it. And then throughout the days, your hair is just still gonna get bigger and bigger. So yeah, when it comes to length, definition, how long you can wear it, not being crunchy. This <laughs> wet line is on to something. Um, these ingredients might not be the best. On top of the fact that this gel is cheaper too, I believe, than the first one. I think this one is like $2.99 at Target. And maybe this was, you know, part of the help of why I just love this wash and go. This is like a bomb ass wash and go. This, I'm loving it, okay? But for right now, I am definitely loving this gel. If anything changes, I'll let y'all know. So that's pretty much the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Helps your girl out. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and join the team. Right after that, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are instantly notified whenever I post a new video here on my channel. And with all of that being said, your girl is out. Deuces.